it's not even conscious, but pretty much the reason why we all are together is because we are all interested in things that are not conventional. Super Jazz Club is a creative collective um, made up of nine people at the moment. Um, we do everything from making music to making clothes to making films to taking photos. Anything that's creative is just like DJing and stuff like that. That's what Super Jazz Club is. It's basically a little creative community that we, we put together ourselves and trying to expand it as the years go by. For me, Super Jazz Club is a safe haven where you can just come and express yourself however you want. Um, my name is Obed. I'm a producer, artist, um, sound engineer, Super Jazz Club, and I do most, most of the singing and the production. So my name is Ansa. Um, I'm an artist, producer, songwriter, um, video, video director, I guess. Yeah, I'm Joey. Singer, artist, producer, Super Jazz Club. My name is Tano Jackson, and I'm a I'm an artist. I I I rap, I sing, and uh, video editing, and sometimes uh, directing as well. Yeah, we're just like mutual friends. So this person knows this person, this person knows this person, and that we all kind of like brought each other along, hang out together as friends, just go out and stuff, and then we started making music together. So that's how I started. In the Ghanaian scene, like Afrobeats is dominant. And so like just finding people who lean more towards into the alternative space was, was it for me. That's why I, we decided to just come together to make music together. In the creative scene that we find ourselves, uh, a lot of people turn to marginalize uh, their creativity to be accepted. But we took chances and we decided to uh, do what we actually feel like comes to us naturally. And we ended up, you know, making all these records you hear. So I would say we we don't necessarily have a genre, particular genre we play, but we just create whatever we feel like. We always try to experiment, make something new. It's basically a fusion of different things that we are influenced by. So today it could be rock, it could be hip hop, it could be jazz. I think our inspirations um, range from the old school, um, Definitely OCBSA is a band that we really love. Me personally, I'm influenced by a lot of rap music. I listen to Tribe Called Quest. I listen to uh, Most Def. I listen to a lot of Nas and Jay. Freedom of jail, clips inserted. A baby's being born, same time a man is murdered. The beginning and end. It's pretty much uh, a blend of uh, our inspiration, so yeah. So it's just about a bunch of kids that really grew up with no guidance from parents and stuff like that, just like messing up, going to parties, causing trouble everywhere. I feel like I'm such a fan of like opening lines. And so for me, it's the opening line for me that says chosen, even before we knew it, we were chosen. Chosen, even before we knew it, we were chosen. The fact that you you were born for this, even before you knew it, it's, it just reaffirmed so much to me. I had a couple lines just come off naturally and I had to spit it real quick before I left. And that's what you hear in the back. And uh, we we actually mosh pit into that in the video. So uh, in the, the rap is like, can I get a dig it's on sight? I know you don't like it when I bike. Lately, I don't run it when I hike. <laughs> But the vibe that we had, we wanted to create was like capture what fashion meant to us and how people could relate to it. That just like how people felt standing in front of a camera and how confident they felt. In the video, the people wearing things that we will not actually, people will not actually wear on a, on a regular day, but we just decided to you know, put it together and see how it goes. You might make you want to sacrifice your dime in one night. Yeah, yeah. Where she go? It's just basically trying to experiment with different things and see how, how it goes. It's not even conscious, but pretty much the reason why we all are together is because we are all interested in things that are not 
conventional. I'm not even trying to be different. I am naturally different. And that's how I just translate my art into the music and everything else. I have people I can connect to. And that that I think that also boosts my creativity process. So I was like, oh, if I'm doing this in my bedroom and I think I'm the only one, now I have like nine or six people also having like similar things. So, I mean, that really helped me too. We're here to make a difference, you know? Like we're not trying to like do no like mediocre music. It's this what we say, we tell ourselves every day. We want to show people back home that make music that, you know, it's not all about just playing venues in Accra and, you know, just like relaxing. Like there's a whole world at your feet that you can get to. And that's what we are trying to do, just to show people that it's possible and they can do it too. Um, I think for me, it's to be as global as possible and to also just show people that life isn't, life in itself isn't as linear as we see it back in Accra. And also I think like we want to leave a template for other people come, other creativities, creative artists and other upcoming. It could be like fashion designers, like fashion brands that there's no limits and you, they have no rules in creating. You can break the rules and do whatever you want to do. Um, there's a quote that I live by that says, uh, how, how big would you dream if you knew uh, you never fail, you know? And that's it. I just feel like that's it. Yeah.